So the plan was they were gonna... Can you get us a car, man? Fuck you, Packy. Yeah, fuck you. Watch it. Calculating route. Packify shows your child's exact location you have anytime. Arrived. And Trackify's innovative GPS... Take us out to the waste management plant under the Algonquin Bridge on Colony Island, big man. But Trackify isn't just for kids. Calculating route. Yards. Turn. A mafia controlled waste management plant? You fucking guessed it. It's an Ancelotti operation. Ray tipped us off about a big payoff they just got. A fat cash payoff. Ancelotti's, huh? I can't tell none of those block families apart. Ancelotti's, Gambinos, Pecorinos. It's the fucking Pegarinos, man. We're working for them. Pecorinos are a type of cheese. Pegorinos is a bunch of Guido gangsters out of Alderney. They're all mafia, though? Of course they are. Cosa Nostra and all that shit. Our family used to be bigger than all them mafia families put together. Back in the day, that is. Not this shit again. I heard this speech a million times. The McCreary's ran the city. People were scared to say their name, let alone come near their place in purgatory. Life was great. We were in charge. It's fucking true. I'd like to hear you tell Gerald that it's a boring story. My brother wouldn't take too kindly to that now, would he? You know the Purgatory is called what it is because people were so scared of the McCreary's? Did you know that, Nico? It's called that because people found the McCreary story so fucking boring. Listening to them was like being in Purgatory. Fuck you, Gordon. I'll fucking come back there and kick your fucking ass in a minute. I hear that Francis McCreary is your brother. Fucking Frankie, my brother. He may have a badge, but I tell you for a fact, he's as crooked as the rest of us McCreary's. More so. At least we ain't fucking hypocrites. Kate's the only decent one. I can believe that. You know Frankie, do you? I got a story for you if you do. Another fucking story. Shut up, Gordon. So, Nico, when Francis and Gerald was growing up, Frankie becomes an altar boy. He swears to this day that he wanted to serve the Lord. Jerry knows the truth, though. He only put on that cassock so he could pocket the change in the collection plate. Fact. That's Francis, down to a fucking T. I don't even know if he realizes what a cookie is. That sounds like the Francis McCreary idea. I bet. Model community leader in my ass. You just worried he'll start clamping down on you. Ain't you, Paggy? I'd like to see him try it. Not gonna happen with the things Jerry knows. Boys, moment of fucking truth. Please proceed to highlighted route. All right, boys. If Ray is correct, then the money's going to be kept in the office in the main building. And there should be a boat docked out back for the getaway. All right, it's up and over the fence. Don't go too fucking far, Nico.
son of a bitch! and find this money. Hey, Becky! I'll go get the money. Cover me, will you? That don't mean I can drive one. Fuck it, though. I'll give it a try. Protect you from the truth. He and your mother loved each other very much. ourselves proud. My brother Jerry's gonna be fucking ecstatic. Providing the Ancelotti's don't figure out it was us, they ripped him off. But don't fucking worry about it. But this figure was another one of the five families. Us McCreary's are under the fucking radar nowadays. It ain't a problem. I hope you're right. For my sake, just shut up and think about the money. If that don't work, think about my sister. I'll tell you though, you're only getting your hands on one of those things, you maniac. And it ain't gonna be my Katie. I'll think about the money then. What a trooper.